Hi, this is Chris from the Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from Political Voices Network. Hi, America. It's me again, Katie Britt. Why haven't you called? I won't be ignored. And by the way, that totally wasn't me that keyed your car. Anyway, I hear that you didn't like my speech, and so here's my response to your response and my response to the State of the Union. And you think I was lying about the s trafficking. Well, I wasn't lying. Maybe you're lying because you're all files. Everyone knows that Joe Biden has been a politician longer than I've been. He is never, ever, never, ever, never, ever going to make fetch happen. And we are never, ever getting back together again. And maybe Nancy Pelosi is going to get a stiletto in the eye. <laughs> Wesley, don't put me in the shed with old Geller again. Bennett, Ridgeway, help mommy. America sucks in hell. 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 By the way, when I asked if you've seen my Katie Britton, you said, no, I didn't want to be somewhere uh, and, and uh, laugh out loud. That was a nice save. That was a nice save that you haven't seen it yet. I didn't want to be the weirdo in the corner of the coffee house. Just, uh, wow, that sounds so douchey. The cafe coffee house. Like, I, like, I, like I'm walking down the streets of Berlin and I'm going into yes. the coffee house. You're just that kind of bohemian liberal. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you before SNL said it's adorable how many people think SNL will do something that's actually funny with Katie Britt's debacle of a speech. I mean, honestly, how could it be made funnier? It's beyond parody. Everybody said that. <laughs> you, watching it, you thought... Is this an SNL sketch? You know, sketch is she an actress, right? So, but I mean, I thought it was fantastic. It was a sketch. Oh no, it was a sketch. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it was actually very funny. But you know what was extra funny was that I watched it with somebody that hadn't seen Katie Britt just heard about it and they kept saying that can't really be what it was like and I was like oh no 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 let me show you and it is so dead on what Scarlett Johansson yeah. did that it is kind of frightening yeah no it, I, that's that's what I mean but you know when you have a budget Jody you know what I mean? right sketch comedy on a budget when you they got the wardrobe the everything exactly right yeah. all the nuances of what she did it was fantastic yeah. oh let's yeah. listen to one more this is when she did the I'm not acting. <laughs> I'm worried about the future of our children. And this is why I've invited you into this strange, empty kitchen. <laughs> because Republicans wanted me to appeal to women voters. And women love kitchen. <laughs> Seriously, my husband Wesley and I just watched President Biden's speech, <laughs> and what I saw was the performance of a permanent politician. But me, I'm not performing. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> she did the hand to the forehead. The hand, yeah. It was perfect. <laughs> you said it. The other <laughs> thing about Katie Britt's. The other thing about Katie Britt is that. Uh, I know that voice. That is the voice of somebody working really hard to keep that Alabama accent down. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, you said so. it best. You said it's nice they gave a terrible community theater actor a job to deliver the Republican <laughs> address. Um, wait, and don't you, is one of your, do you teach theater? Is one of your professors? I do. I, I do. I direct shows and stuff. So, yeah. you know. It's like the I, worst I, freshman I, monologue ever, right? It's oh, like, oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, 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 I don't know if the phrase big care and energy has been uh, <laughs> invented yet. Oh, Tim, but... Tim Russ sent me the meme. I, Katie Britt drank the water at Camp Lejeune. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, definitely giving off big care and energy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I want to see the manager energy. Um, and, uh, plus, I loved your, you know, Katie Britt has it. It's wine o'clock somewhere sign in her kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> A sign that says live, laugh, love. Yes. Oh, oh totally. Oh, yeah. totally. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Live, laugh, pray. No, yeah. she has live, <laughs> laugh, pray. Yes. <laughs> um, I liked your, uh, you said shorter Biden, the State of the Union is you, Republicans. <laughs> That's true. That, mm. that would have worked just as well. I, that's what I was saying last week, Rude, is that you know, whenever they say, oh, it's so political, it means it kicked ass. Right. <laughs> it means they didn't right. like it because right. it kicked ass, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm mean, sorry. I didn't mean to get you while you were drinking. Should I call back uh, later? That's all right. That's okay. okay. At, 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 le at least I wasn't watching your, your video so that I would <laughs> spit my coffee out. <laughs> now you have ketchup. I've done two of them. And all who right. Knows? Okay. I, this may I continue have... because I think she's only going to get crazier. I, mean... I have homework. I, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, but we were saying it's become the whole 
party. The lying, the doubling down. on. Remember when Trump, like, first of all, he's such a sick F. Like, you can tell he loves telling these stories, these gruesome, dark stories. And remember it was a plot line from Sicario, the movie? Mm -hmm. It wasn't even real. It was the same thing. Yeah, they get in there and they like to use knives and cut you to little pieces. And it's like, okay, um... Yeah, that's sort of the way torture works. I, oh, God. Yeah, but just, yeah, he's a sociopath, just d- taking pleasure in telling the story. It's uh, Oh, anyway. well, it was the same, again, the same way with Katie Britt and and the, the story of the, the woman who was sex trafficked. I mean, yeah. she didn't have to talk about the number of times she was raped. Yeah. I mean, it was it was just, why and, are those details that's just meant to incite people and... <laughs> and yeah. And the woman, as we mentioned earlier, Rude said, "Don't you know? No one reached out to me. Don't tell my story. And you got all the details wrong. There was never any one-on-one with her and Katie Britt. And again, you know, well, and, not and during the Biden administration, and not in in America. Right. <laughs> and not and not no. And and even more, she wasn't trafficked by a drug cartel. No, it was a pimp. I mean, yeah. you know, just a, a the the point of the whole story yeah. was that the drug cartels are flowing across and causing this <laughs> horror on yeah. our shores." And it's like, no, or, you know, like every detail, except that this woman went through this terrible, terrible situation, uh, but long ago, um, we're wrong. It's it's pathetic. And, you know, the only thing I'll say that Katie Britt might be slightly relieved about is more people are talking now talking about how wrong she was instead of how terrible she was. Right. (laughs) Right. She distracted with the lie from her. Speaking of creepy, you said, man, Mike Johnson looks like he's wondering if he fed the woman he keeps in a pit in his basement. <laughs> That's the look. He's sitting there. He's sitting there like just kind of looking side to side. Doesn't want to give anything away. Like, hmm, did, did, did I drop the basket? I mean, Rude, what... <laughs> it's tr- you know what I was saying last week? It's just, is it me? Are they just weird? They have the most amount of weirdos in their party, starting with Trump. They're just the weirdest. I, they, it's like they're trying to replicate human behavior of some sort. Yeah, yeah. It's because they have they have actually sort of boxed themselves into a corner with the things they believe. Yeah. So they're put in this position of having to support things that most of them know are complete madness. Right. And have to act like they actually give a crap about it. Oh my God, we were saying and, like, uh, they, they finally have gotten to the point where they get a Republican woman who has been raped to go on TV and defend rapist Donald Trump. I mean, yeah. we've turned it up to 11 now, haven't we? Yeah, and, and, and that's actually the most despicable thing is all of these women that, that you know, I'm thinking about Elise Stefaniak, who pre-Trump was seen as one of the sane Normals. Republicans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's just the way in which they've decided that being in Trump's orbit, you know, is their, their way to some kind of great success. I guess that's the way right-wing media ends up paying you off after you're done yeah. in Congress. I don't want to get but, too happy, Rude, but I swear to God, I just this feels like I'm just a cascading disaster that's... It's going to be so entertaining for our side. I mean, it was a really bad week for Trump and the GOP and a really great week for Biden. I mean, and you said, by the way, if it happened, if I happen to make it to Biden's age, I hope I'm this lively and ready to F with my opponents. I mean, he was having fun, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And meanwhile, speaking of faces of the GOP, you said, can someone throw Marjorie Taylor Greene out? The shrieking troll needs to be put on the curb with the rest of the garbage. I mean... Right, even SNL is like, oh, thanks for dressing for the State of the Union. She's just trash. Yeah, yeah. To go, to go there and you know, dressed like some kind of anti-leprechaun. I mean, it was, <laughs> it, it was just ridiculous. And and you're not supposed to. It's like, her, you know, she's all about you know, you know, dec- talking about you know that we need to follow laws and everything. Well, the rules of the of the house say you don't get to wear a damn hat. Right. You know, right. <laughs> Right. It, it take right. off, and I, you know, I love Trump's reaction. I think somebody described it as, "I bet Marjorie Taylor Greene didn't expect Trump to react like you know, like a small child had just jumped out to surprise him." <laughs> someone oh, said, someone said she, me. <laughs> she looked like a waitress. Oh, aren't you so good at this, Marjorie? <laughs> Yeah, someone said she looked like a waitress from TGI Crazies. Yeah, yeah, that was the S- I think that was the SNL line. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so let's see, where else do we? What else do we cover here? Uh, yeah, you said uh, yeah, an 81 year old with a stutter is going to stumble a couple of times. But if you were watching this to see Biden be sleepy and incoherent, I have bad news for you. I mean, and there's Trump. 
you know, as despicable as he is, mocking the stutter. And then did you watch his speech? He, he was completely incoherent several times by the end of it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, and his speeches are getting shorter. I mean, that's another thing to kind of note is they're, they're starting to come in under an hour. Um, it's no longer, you know, Fidel Castro length speeches going on here. It's it's but, you know, the the thing that I thought about with this is that Republicans must have watched this speech and just gone, oh, hell, we got to rewrite everything. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like like I love Sean Hannity calling 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 Biden jacked up Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. I mean, he can't win right now. He's now the speech apparently was so good that he must have been on something. Uh, oh, yeah. No, they've said that. They've said he's yeah. on Adderall. Yeah. 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 That, oh, yeah. You Well, you said over on Truth Toilet, uh, Trump is actually complaining Biden was shouting. Uh, screaming McOrange face really should shut the up about the volume of someone else. Um, yeah, and also just the, I, I, do we have? Hang on, do we? Which one? What's the slurriest one? Do we have? Oh God! Um, oh, four. Just, just, just. Here's a yeah. brief sampling road of this. One. All compliments of an incompetent. <laughs> I think he was trying to say compliments. compliments. Yeah. All compliments of Lemons. an incompetent. Complements. Yeah. We're back in WTF, Donnie, Donnie yeah. game show yeah. area. Okay. That, and that's the end. He, he, let's just also talk about how creepy it is that at the end of his speeches, he has that music mm-hmm. come up. Yeah. Like for the last yes, five yes. minutes of his speeches, like some kind of, you know, Independence Day type surge of music. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Katie Britt is... doesn't need to put the scary music. You just hear it in your head when she starts talking. Yeah. You're just, yeah. Mm-mm. <laughs> Um, He's always fighting aliens in his mind. <laughs> Speaking of women, you said you Republican mites can't even, which I just love that oh, word. Yeah. Just what's not funny about mites. Um, can't even clap for the first woman vice president. Mm-hmm. Pathetic. Um, oh God. Thank God I don't watch Bill Maher anymore. Apparently he suggested that Biden kick Kamala Harris off the ticket yeah, and put did. Nikki Haley on. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> I just can't. what? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Like, uh, yeah. the, the, there's the message: take the pro-choice woman off the ballot yeah. and put the 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 anti-choice w- woman on. I mean, that's just there's something so ridiculously sexist about that. And uh, you know, it's but that's Bill Maher these days. <laughs> yeah. By the way, you had some financial advice for Judge Kaplan, uh, just for kick seize Mar-a-Lago and sell it for eighteen million. <laughs> For by the way, he defamed DJ and Carol again, yes. <laughs> again this weekend. Again. So don't yeah. know what's it's like. Yeah. Hey, I paid, so I can say whatever I want. He has ninety-one million dollars worth of insults. And by the way, mainstream media journalism again. Rude. Uh, I believe it's Seth Abramson and David K. Johnson are the only ones talking about where he got the bond for. Mm-hmm. That's a national yeah. security issue, and of course, there's a connection to Russia. Russia. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. like Nancy Pelosi always says, all roads lead to Russia. Mm-hmm. The American people have a right to know that who who's where are you getting this bond we know you don't have the money right i mean it's just another national security nightmare yeah and he'll just say oh they always say russia 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 and it's like no dude you're the one that's always going to russia 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 for 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 money for for backup from putin for yeah 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 and by the way you said the same thing we said last week you said how do you go forward with the classified docs case and still do this sharing briefings with him you said it makes it see, you seem idiotic to charge him with mishandling secrets and then just giving him security information because tradition yeah i mean i i obviously i think kareem jean pierre indicated hopefully they're not going to do that because i know we all had that same reaction yeah i, I mean i know it's been tra- yeah a tradition it's not there's no requirement for right. that it right. is a tradition to bring somebody up to speed it just you know at least at some level and uh but you know at least say you know what he was president he knows enough right now this is let's just let it <laughs> yeah. go yeah exactly and your final one biden continues to murder the american economy by creating too many jobs <laughs> they are <Yeah. laughs> they have no other way to spin this now right the, the economy's too hot. It's just too hot. <laughs> yeah. They, exactly. can't, they can't lower the interest rates because it's too hot. Too many people are working. <laughs> All right. It's time for you to go teach the budding young Katie Britt actresses of the world at your uh, I, I will. I will. College. I will teach them how to over-enunciate. 
<laughs> and smile awkwardly as if repressing emotions that and, they actually and, are having. And make hand motions that do not, do not match, match what you're saying. What you are saying. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> and also read my new piece at rudepundit.blogspot.com. Yes. 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 the State of the Union. I'll always read this hobo's filthy scribblings. <laughs> Love you. And there's some extra filthy stuff in there. There oh, is. There is. Yes. I blushed. Oh, okay. Oh, my. All right.